What's up guys and welcome to Blender Quick Tip. Uh, so I thought I'd make a quick tip showing you how I achieved this cymatics effect in Blender. So let's jump straight into it. So the first thing you want to do is just delete the cube. Now we're going to hit Shift A, we're going to add a mesh and we're going to add a plane. And we're just going to scale that plane up to 8, so hit S and then 8. Now the first thing I want you to do is just subdivide the plane. So we're going to go into edit mode, hit tab, and let's right click and hit subdivide. And we're going to open up this menu here and we're going to change the number of subdivisions to 100 gives us lots of fidelity to work with when we start deforming the mesh. And if you're running on a MacBook or something and you can't right click, you can just go to Edge and Subdivide. So come out of Edit Mode, hit Tab again, and we're going to come to our Modifier section here, this little spanner. We're going to add a modifier and we're going to add the Wave modifier. And this Wave modifier is really cool because it simulates a wave for you. So all you've got to do is hit Play and you'll see the wave effect in real time. So we'll go back to Start. And I'm just going to go through these parameters with you and you can just copy my settings so we can achieve that cymatics effect. So we're going to leave the fall off at zero. We're going to pump the height to 0.24 and we're going to drop the width down to 0.18. Now we're going to change the narrowness to 4.3 and we're just going to expand this little thing here where it says time and we're going to change the offset to 8.4. This is so that our wave slowly eases in. This is crucial if you want it to loop. We're going to change the life to 200. This is basically how long the simulation will run for. So when you get to 200 frames, it should stop. And as you can see, when it hits 200, the um, the wave sort of dampens, and that's what this damping parameter does. So if you pump that up to 40, once you get to 240, that's when it's going to stop. Next thing, we're gonna change the speed to 0.02, because you can see it's moving a bit too fast. And now when you hit play, you get this really cool sort of ripple effect on your plane. Next step, we're just going to right click it and we're going to hit Shade Smooth just to ease out some of those polygons. And if you want to make it look even better, you can add a Subsurf modifier. Just make sure you put that before the wave. Right guys, thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the quick tip. If you did, please leave a like and subscribe. It really helps me grow the channel. And also, if you want to learn how to make this particular render, I'll be releasing a tutorial for that very soon. And I'll be leaving a link on this video right here. Uh, so feel free to check that out. And while you're waiting for that, I encourage you guys to check out my website where you can find more of my work. That's nebmotion.co.uk.